Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the latest version of XBMC for kids. Now, quite a lot's changed from the previous version. Um, there's now a updater uh, which I added tonight. Um, there's also new views. Um, just overall, it's more streamlined. Um, I've added a few extra scripts, like the one that will give you synopsis for games, so you can view a video preview and you can also take information from a XML file and display it and I'll show you that as well. So if you've not used it in like the previous video you'll see that there's now two profiles by default. There's manage profiles and there's DVD to Xbox. So DVD to Xbox is the same as the last time you use this to copy games to the Xbox. The Manage Profiles is now used to add profiles and delete profiles. Now, one difference between this and the default XBMC is I changed the source code. So now I changed it to what I need for this. So it's a lot simpler to create a profile, as you'll see. So when you load in, you're presented with this screen and on the right here you have individual save directories for each profile. What that is, is that allows each profile to have their own saves, basically. Uh, by default it's off, um, but you can enable it if you want. Um, if you're using a previous version and you use multiple profiles and you use the profile Python script, then you would you'll want to enable that. Um, I don't use it, so it's disabled by default. So I'll add a profile, and as you see, when you pick Add Profile, now it now pops up a keyboard. Uh, before it would ask you your name, and then it would ask you to enter the directory name. Now. It doesn't do that, I changed how that works. We can now select an image. And that's your profile set up. Now, as you'll also see down the bottom, um, there's contextual buttons. Uh, basically these change depending on the menu you're in. So for instance, uh, I can clear the cache from here, so if I press the black button, It'll clear the Xbox cache. If I press the back button, that will take me into the settings where I can change my network. Uh, I can calibrate my video. So, stuff like that. Um, and you'll see down the bottom, those buttons will change. So, right now, there's two ways to load this profile. You can either press the white button and pick load profile or you can push the right stick in to log off and cycle over and press A. Now on first run the script will do its job, it sets everything up and it tells you that it needs to be restarted. God, the white balance went over there. Right. So, next time you load the profile, I'll now take you into the game section and I'll proceed to scan in games. And this is just a dummy um, list of games. Um, if you have a load of games, it will take longer to scan them in. Um, but obviously since it's dummy, it doesn't take that long. So, one of the new features is Game Preview, as you can see down the bottom left. If you press X, and there's a video present in the Games folder, it will play it. Now that can be changed if you go into Skin Settings, and go down to Video Preview, or Preview Video Settings. You can pick 
what format you would like the video to be and you can also enable synopsis mode now synopsis mode gets the video extension dynamically so it checks the file, it finds out the, the extension and it will play it um, but also it has a different file structure your video file would then go in the underscore resources folder inside the media folder so I'll quickly show you that so as you can see down the bottom left now says game synopsis press the X button we'll get some game information some screenshots and it tells you up the top right there that preview.mp4 is found and if we press the A button it will now play the video you can press the A button to stop or you can just press the X button to close and stop now another change is the bar up the top here um, I streamlined it rather than pressing up twice you just press up once now and you get the bar you now have resources which will use higher res images from the underscore resources folder uh, with the new version there is an example file which has advent rising and how it's set up and stuff like that so you can look at that and how to do it um, also you can now get 70% uh, opacity for fan art or you can have basically no opacity at all or 100% or is it zero? No, 100% zero zeros transparent so other thing is we now have a banner view um, if there's banner JPEG found inside the resources artwork folder it will use that if not then you'll get this if you disable resources you will just get a blown up version of the default thumbnail um, same goes for these views if you enable resources you will get thumbnails if you disable resources you will get default ones um, this view is the resources view I caught um, I use this for testing resources so I can again create them and see them all without having to cycle through different views I left that in because some people might want to create some resources and if they do then I'd rather give you the same way I do it, it makes life easier um, other things is mainly just kind of fixes, script optimization, um, new images like textures and stuff like that and just organization you can also clean the thumbnails now basically what this does is it removes all the thumbnails from the programs thumbnail folder the next time you get back into your games section I'll recache them. Uh, this is handy for you changing. So if you change the default.tbn file, then you can delete them all and it will recache them again. It doesn't take very long, it takes 30 seconds, 40 seconds to recache them all. But it's a handy feature, it means you don't need to do it manually. Um, clear cache added that to the settings so you can come in and clear the cache you can also disable the time up in the top right the emulator button you can add a custom button to the options menu when in the game section actually I'll just show you so you can see it here that's handy if you want to load say Unleash X um, with a custom skin for emulators there's one currently on the MU Extras forum uh, enable startup playlist go into music um, this is my daughter's music so if I press the Y button followed by the black button I can go in 
and I can save the playlist just call it zero and then I can go to file path and I can select the playlist and the next time I load this profile it will play music um, you also have the overlay for music you can cycle between a animated bar visualization um, or you can have the album art um, so other than that most of the other changes are just in the background um, minor fixes like the keyboard now works on all menus whereas before it didn't which was a bad mistake um, just the new bar down the bottom uh, Oh, I'll show you. Um, when you log out now, you get this nice view, which then takes you back here. Um, when on this, when on the login screen, if you press down, you get a nice diagram of what the buttons do on the pad. This will change depending if you are in edit mode or user mode. So, fully created that in Photoshop, so there's no copyright stuff. Um, so I'll quickly show you how the updater works. Um, instead of going to the PC, I already have this set up. So the way it works is there's a new the batch file that comes, which is a build xbmc for kids updater dot bat. If you place an xbmc folder, so you download the Xbox Media Center. You place the XBMC folder inside the XBMC for Kids uh, master folder if you got it from uh, GitHub, which you probably will because that's where it's hosted. Uh, you run that and you'll be produced with an update folder or an updater folder. Now this folder you place inside the XBMC for Kids folder or whatever you named the folder and placed it on your Xbox and when you load in to XBMC for Kids as you'll see you'll get a nice wee diagram telling you that the update folder is found and would you like to install the update now you can pick no or you can pick yes we'll pick yes and I'll show you how the updater works So, you're presented with this screen, you press the A button, and you wait. Basically what this does is it copies your profiles, creates a new profiles.xml, removes the old installation, keeps any uh, folders that you placed in there, so you could have custom images and like an image folder inside the XBMC for kids folder doesn't touch that, only removes the folders that I originally or the ones that XBMC creates and then it will copy over the new stuff along with your profile data so when you go back and it's set up the way it was So that's it done, pick OK. Um, also you get a full screen splash now. Um, I've done that by editing the source code, so you now get a full screen splash. Uh, it looks nicer. Now that's the update successful. I'll now do some clean up. And that's you all done. Now you may notice that there's no thumbnail now. The reason being is I don't copy the thumbnail location. Um, so there is no thumbnail anymore. Um, so to fix that you just press the white button. You pick edit profile. Browse. And you just select your image again. And we can load back in. And we're back to normal. As you can see, the playlist is playing. 
Um, you can't use the synopsis if the play, if music is playing, um, for obvious reasons. It uses the X button to open up the synopsis, and also if you played the video, it would stop the music anyway. So to stop confusion or problems, I just disable it. So that's XBMC for kids. That's the latest version. Um, there's obviously underlying changes and stuff like that, um, which you just won't notice, but I changed quite a lot of the stuff. Um, it's all documented on the GitHub. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.